Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create separate menu for logged in users and visitors without the use of any additional plugin or extra code. However, we're going to be making use of a new feature Elementor recently added in their latest version 3.19. This feature is called the Display Condition feature. Without wasting much of our time, let's dive in and get started and see how we can easily achieve this. Now, on our dashboard, the first thing we do is we come over to um, the Elementor here. This is Elementor and then we head over to the settings. Now, once this loads up, we will now head over to the future. Under the future, we scroll down. Under ongoing experiment, we scroll down to where we see the display condition. Mind you, this is only available for Elementor version 3.19 and above. So you need to make sure you've updated your Elementor. And this has a status of alpha. So it is still an ongoing experiment and should be used with caution as some there are some they might be some bugs however this feature is a very wonderful feature and is more like a game changer and as elementor is getting us closer to a to a period or a time whereby we won't be needing additional plugins when developing our website this is one of those features that will really really get us there so first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click on this and then set it to active and we scroll down and then we we'll click on save changes All right, now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is just going to visit our website. We're just going to visit our website. Uh, then this is it. So now, as you can see, this is the menu we, we see when we're logged in. And also, it will also be the same menu you will see when you are not logged in. So let's open this website in incognito mode and let's see. As you can see, this is the same menu we can see also when we are logged out. So now let's go back and let's edit our header. So All right. So now that we are here, as you can see, this is our current menu. I've already created the menu that we'll be using to differentiate the menu for logged in users and the menu for visitors. So in order for us to achieve this, let's head over and then first thing we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this container this entire container housing both the logo uh, the the menu and then these icons here so i'm just going to duplicate this uh, all right okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this menu edit this menu here and then i'm going to select the menu that i've created that i want my users or rather my logged in users to to see so now this is the menu user 2 okay as you can see it's different from the current menu we have here so now that i've done this the next thing i'm going to do is right here i'm going to edit this i'm just going to click on edit and then i head over to advanced settings and i'll scroll down to where i will see this uh, display conditions here and then i'm just going to click on this and then i can add my conditions for that particular container so i'm just going to click on add con condition and you can see there are various conditions here that i can add and the one I'm going to add is the login status. So I'm just going to click on this login status and then you can see this option here is that is logged in status. This is actually telling us that the login or the login status, the user is either logged in in order to, to see it or logged out. So we'll be selecting the logged in first because this container here, this is the menu we want our user to see when they are logged in. And then we'll now head over to this one above here and we'll do the same thing head over to the um, advanced settings under the advanced settings will come over down to the display condition here and then we'll click on it and we'll add the condition and we'll do the same here but this time around we're going to set it to log out and then we're just going to click on save and once we update this once we update this we can see the difference now so now if i should head over here and i refresh this you're going to see the difference now, some of you might be thinking that since I'm in the admin mode, that is why I'm saying this. Don't worry. Okay, you can see this is the menu now we've set for logged in users. Now, let's go over to our incognito mode and then let's refresh it and see. Now, you can see now this is the menu we see when we are 
visiting the site for the first time we're not logged into the site so we can test this by logging in as a normal user rather than as an admin so let's just log in and see let's log in and see what we get Uh, you can see now we've logged in and we're not in so you can see the menu here has changed from what we have when we're logged out to something like this to so achieve this is as simple and straightforward as this so let's go over here and then you can see here also as an admin you can see this as well now some of you might be wondering why i had to make use of the container to achieve this why not just apply these conditions to the uh, the widget itself. However, like I said earlier, this um, feature is uh, um, still an ongoing experiment with an alpha with the status of alpha, which means it is in the first level of it. Uh, it is it's just on the first level, so there are bound to be some little minor minor bugs which will be fixed as time goes on. So let's see one of the bugs and the more reason why i decided to make use of the container and advice there are certain widgets that you want to perform or certain display conditions that you want to perform that you have to do it on the container that houses whatever feature uh, widget you want to make invisible or visible or apply display conditions to now let's see let's undo this let's undo everything we've done let's just delete this and let's save this and then let's come over here and do the same here and let's remove this condition here uh, we click on save and close and now let's just delete this let's delete this container now we have just one container now if i should update this and i head over to the website here as a login user you can see this is the menu i can see now let's try to make use of at uh, let's try to add this display condition to the widget and not the container and let's see how, how it turns out now this is the, the the menu here so all we just need to do is the menu widget is all we need to do here is we're just going to duplicate this menu widget here <coughs> and then we're going to change the second menu widget to our user 2 menu so now we we'll have two different menu so now for this menu now we're just going to go over to the advanced settings and then we're just going to dis add the display condition and then we're just going to select it just like what we've done before now we're doing it on the widget rather than on the container so let's see the difference so as you can see set it to logged in and then we'll now come over to this other menu here and we we'll do the same here this time around we're going to set it to log out so and then display condition uh, logout and now that we've done this you can see it looks pretty well so let's click on save let's update this now we've only applied our conditions to the widget to the uh, menu widget here so let's go over here and let's refresh this okay so you can see this is what we have here now and if we should go over to our incognito mode and logout mode and then we refresh this page here let's refresh this page you see the menu is still normal it's still okay however if we should log in now let's log in and let's see if we should log in now we're going to see what will happen you see we got a broken menu here and the reason for this is that like i said earlier this display condition is still under ongoing experiment so there are ten there, there there are bugs that you might encounter when making use of the conditions in certain manner however the most the my advice is that when you're making use of this condition on your life web, life website try to apply it to a container housing whatever widget you want to use but there are certain widgets that do not that this condition this problem do not affect like the button widget and some other widget but you will definitely come across some widget that the display conditions might might affect or certain parameters 
certain display condition parameters might cause some level of distortion or some level of um, some problem on the website so in order to avoid that just apply your display condition to the container housing the the widget and so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next i upload a new video and feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or you have any suggestions or questions to ask and i will do well to attend to all questions until then see you next time bye bye